so when you first started directing, is there any project that you signed on for as an actor where you found that directing brain kicking in more so than ever in terms of determining whether or not you wanted to sign on for that project? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I don't, I can't say which one in particular, but I know that that, that, that happens. And there are certain projects. Yeah. Yeah. And there are, there are certain projects that you're asked to do and you think, Oh God, I wish I were directing this, you know, like, and then you think, and then sometimes you meet the director and you think, Oh boy, I really wish I were directing this, you know, because this person doesn't know what they're doing or, <laughs> or my God, I never could have directed this. This person is amazing. Um, there was one movie, a, a Hollywood movie that I was asked to do. And it, and I said, I, I just don't think that I know how to do that. And, and I won't tell you what it was. And it was, I was asked by the, by the star of the movie to do it. And then the movie ended up being very successful. And somebody said to me, see, it was so successful. Why didn't you direct it? It was so good. Why didn't you direct it? I said, it was so good and successful because I didn't direct it. That's why. If I, <laughs> if I, I mean, it's just like, it, it, it doesn't make any sense that someone would say that. But, you know, to me, you, you have to, it's, it's good to have the eye of a director when you're acting because it challenges the director. You're able to ask all the right questions. You just have to make sure that you're not annoying because it's not your movie. I always ask my colleagues if they have any questions for the person that I'm lucky enough to talk to. And okay. one of the hottest topics that was suggested by the Collider staff is they all want to know what it was like for you working with Michael Bay. So <laughs> I, know, I know that you've already described his process as I believe manic and frantic. So maybe what would you say is a con but also a pro of working that way, especially on a gigantic blockbuster set like the Transformers movies. The, 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 pro, the pro is you, you get a paycheck, you get a real paycheck and that's exciting. That's always exciting. Um, the pro is also, you get to go to lots of different locations where you'd probably never go in your entire life. Like Chicago, I'm kidding. But no, uh, you know. Um, but then also, I think the another, this is what, you know, the, the, only, the best way to describe it is Steve Buscemi, who worked with Michael a couple of times, described it the best way. He goes, it's like making an independent film with a lot of money. And that is true. The, the, there is, what I really like about Michael is that he loves actors and, and he's very, very spontaneous. Um, you, you can walk on to the set and you might have no idea what you're going to do that day. <laughs> and that is, for some people that's fine, for some people it freaks them out. I, I had a great, I actually had a really great time working with him. Um, he, he's super smart. He, um, the, the only, the hard part is sometimes when it comes to the stunts, um, because there isn't a lot of preparation, it can be a bit dangerous. Understandable. Yeah. Given your experience on sets like that, and also what you brought up a little earlier, if you did sign on to direct, you know, a massive budget blockbuster, what is a quality about your previous sets that you would want to bring to those in order to, I don't know, make it the most successfully creative experience possible? Spontaneity. Being able to uh, and preparation. I really like to prepare. I like to be as prepared as possible and then be spontaneous when I need to be. Preparation allows for spontaneity. 